So for people with limit of shoulder internal rotation, following, for example, uh, an adhesive capsulitis, frozen shoulder, they regain the external rotation, they've got difficulties with internal rotation, reaching behind the back. You can do a mobilization in which the patient is supine and you push the humeral head in a posterior direction. It rolls anterior, you push it posterior. Some people don't tolerate it very well, or they say it's painful on the anterior part of the shoulder. You can also place your patient in sideline. In that position, the posterior superior capsule in internal rotation will change its direction going from posterior to anterior. And so from posterior to anterior, then I'm going to, to uh, do a target tissue mobilization in which into internal rotation, I'm going to push the head anteriorly. And so usually in the clinic, I'm going to do it rhythmically, you know, uh, with a minimum amount of discomfort for the patient. And so then I can go into neuromuscular reeducation. So I'm going to do that for several minutes and then go into neuromuscular reeducation, asking the patient just to help me going behind the back and coming in a more functional position.